All right, guys, welcome back. It's Thursday and it's not the webinar day, so that's sad. But it's Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, and we just had. I, I want to talk first of all. My name is Lucas Santos. Please give us a thumbs up on this video, first of all. All right, subscribe to the channel because if you have been following me for the couple last two months, I would say, um, we just had a few big things happening yesterday that have been mentioned already those last two months. First of all was the euro dollar hitting 105, right? So we did hit the 1508 on Tuesday, right? That I've made a video. If you haven't watched yet, go to our um, YouTube channel. It's called it euro dollar and GBP USD. US dollar strength will continue. And then we had the 1508, 1058 being heated. And then now, this morning, at the morning, I think it was like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't awake, I just saw this morning. All my positions on the euro dollar um, heated take profit. So that means that my first target, 1508, was heated and then 1.5, it's done. So congratulations for those who, you know, got into the trade and understood why the market was moving on that way. I do, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I am doing a few more analysis towards can we continue to drop? My answer is yes, we will continue to see a drop further down. But for now, I don't have 100% certain, so I won't come here and disclose for you guys because I like to have my full analysis prepared so then I can share with you all. But that was the first thing, very happy, very nice. USD JPY is only 500 points away from our main target, the 150 target that I've been mentioning already, same as the Euro dollar, we hit it 149, uh, sorry, 148, and then 149 and now 150. So only 500 points away from the 150. So all of those two pairs, two trades that I've mentioned in the past couple of months have been doing great, have been doing fantastic, right? And we know why, we know the fundamentals behind it. We're not only looking for support or resistance or Fibonacci levels. We actually know why it's happening this, okay? Anyways, so today I wanna to talk about the Australia CPI, right? We had the data yesterday and I wanna mention as well, I'm gonna write it down here to not forget. Uh, I want to mention a target for the Australian dollar versus US dollar. So the Aussie, um, Aussie dollar against US dollar. Right, so the headline inflation accelerates to 5.2% month over month. We had last month, the previous month at 4.9%, right? And then we had an increase of roughly 0.3%. 0.30-something percent, actually, if you look at exactly the numbers, but we, we don't, doesn't matter about that, but anyways. So we did have an increase on inflation, but what actually happening? Because the forecast was at 5.2, right? And the actual came as 5.2, but the previous was 4.9, right? So we did have an increase of 0.3% on month over month inflation since last month to this month. Um, but if we look at the chart, the Aussie dollar, AUD, USD, uh, we can see that the market didn't react positively as inflation grew, you know, inflation went up, but the market reacted as a negative, in a negative way. Why did that happen? Well, the market tends to react, not positive and not negative, but like mild, you know, well, if you look at the five minute chart, it did went up and then it didn't just drop down. I'm actually short on Aussie dollar and I've been mentioning this on my webinars already. And if you have been to my webinar, you know why I'm short on Aussie dollar, okay? Anyways, so coming back here. So the actual came as the forecasted, so it didn't have much impact. Indeed, the market was already priced in the 5.2% inflation. So 80%, 75 to 80% of the market was already expecting inflation to grow to 0.3%, to around to 0.25 to 0.3%. So it 
So this is the reason why we didn't have any huge move upside. And second of all, um, the gold is falling as well as a knife. I wouldn't like to catch this knife falling, you know, when you have an, a knife going like that, you don't want to catch it because if you catch it, you know what happens with your hand, right? So imagine if you want to long your, you know, gold right now, wouldn't be the best approach towards Australian dollar as well. Because if, um, if the gold is falling, theoretically, Australian dollar is a very, you know, um, commodity country, um, it is falling as well. So we have this huge correlation between them. All right. Um, so my target for the AUG USD is at 0 0.62. Not only me, but as a, you guys know, I do have a few connections um, over, you know, a few institutions like I have my, my friend in Goldman Sachs and JP Morgan, and they are looking at those targets as well, 0, 0 0.62 on Australian dollar versus US dollar, okay? Um, so after, you know, a few ta uh, key takeaways on the, um, Australia CPI. So Australia um, August CPI showed a notable increase, uh, rising by 0.30% month on month, and compared to a previous increase of 0.25. Um, the annual inflation rate also accelerated by 30 basis point to reach 5.2 year on year. So that means, uh, oh, before I forget, before I forget, I had something here. Since March, 2023 March, we had the inflation at 7.4, all right? And then on February, we had inflation at 8.4 in Australia. So we are right now at 5.2. Well, the lowest one until now was 4.9 on last month in um, August. Uh, but in, in September now, we have a 5.2 inflation. Um, so... Think about it, we came all the way from 8.4 in February, all the way down to 5.2 now in September. So, you know, we do have those, those data actually giving the central bank a reason to pause. So if we see seven months ago, eight months ago, we had this huge inflation and now we are closely to 4% you know, we are at 5.2. Remember, folks, that Australia, the RBA, the Reserve Bank of Australia, have a target of inflation between 2 to 3%. So still, they have a lot to do. So imagine, they, they took 7 to 8 months to reduce 2% on inflation. They still have to reduce 2.5% and a half to 3%. All right? So it may take another year for them to do or so. All right. Anyways, so a few key takeaways here in terms of, um, you know, will the Australia, will the RBA hike another time? I bet, uh, well, not bet, I guess they will do another hike on this year, but probably next month, right? So we have um, a new, a new um, governor, Michelle Bullock. Um, she has been here since, uh, you know, 18th of September, so quite new into the RBA. Um, she has a hawkish rhetoric towards the monetary policy, so we need to watch her pretty close because she will decide the next hike or pause or cut. They, they won't cut, that's for sure. You know, I can't, I can't give you any for sure they will do that or for sure they won't, but they can't. It's just an economic you know, if you, if you know 1% of economics, you know that this is impossible for Australia to do now. Cut rates. This is not going to happen. Uh, you know, this is something that I can, you know, tell you that it won't happen. All right. Anyways, so going ahead, um, we, we're going to have her next uh, 25th of October next month. Um, coming to the meetings and stating if she's going to hike, if she's going to hike or if she's going to continue pausing. Um, in my analyst opinion, I think she will hike a 25 basis point. Um, yes, we did so this increase. Um, so this will count on her decision. All right. But for me, Australian dollar is bearish at the moment. And I guess we can continue shorting it until um, the target, you know, 0.62. Um, apart from that, folks, 
Uh, that's all for me today. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friend if he or she trades. Um, that's going to be a lovely education for them to understand what's going to happen, you know, and what's happening with Australia. Uh, and then don't forget next Tuesday, uh, it's already five days away. It's only five days away, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday, we're going to have my webinar at six to seven o'clock on Sydney time, where I'm going to discuss my full breakdown analysis and my new targets for Euro dollar. I'm going to work it out on researches today and during the weekend as well. So you guys can have fresh content next week. All right, guys, I see you in the next video.